Um, I know uh, given Administrator Rose's report, and I know that's probably one of the biggest things we've heard communication from the residents on being the trash hauler contract. I know if we want to take a little bit of time to either have some more questions with uh, the administrator, if there's any thoughts, or you guys want to uh, kick that on before we get to the business of votes this evening. Sure, I'll, I'll start out. I, I mean, I in my report, I like I said, I fielded a couple calls or some calls from some residents who, on both sides, that were for or against, you know, and and, and listening to having their concerns and having dialogue, you know, some of the things that I take away from the administrator's report and some of the dialogue I had with some residents. I mean, some of the pros that I see is, you know, obviously as the administrator said, potentially a, a lower cost to, to, to most of the township residents, um, a lot less large truck traffic on our roads, and thus, you know, longer sustainability of our roads, right? Um, less carriers throughout the neighborhoods because I guess there's frequently several carriers going through several neighborhoods almost daily. Mm -hmm. um, so there would be less of that traffic um, out there. Um, some of the others, the other, the, the, the cons that I heard from some of the residents I talked to that, you know, they, they, they're adamant that they want to have their choice, you know, and they don't want to, you know, they referred to, uh, I, I, I don't, Want what the city hat wants, right? Or what the city has. I want to be able to make my own choice. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to go with the, the small business owner who does garbage removal because you know I want to give them my business. So I I, I, I know there's two sides. I'm 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 I'm, I'm not there yet on a on a decision by my part. I mean I, I sort of see both sides of it. Um, it's I I think there's some some concern by some of the residents. I, I've heard some of the same concerns, and um, I understand. I mean, it's that, you know, we're in a township, and it's that limited government sort of approach to things, and it's like then government's going to come in and make this big decision. Um, I go at it a little bit with the saving money aspect, um, and I have, have had a couple of people talk about the traffic. I mean, I've heard that one come up a little more, something I hadn't heard, and then when I think about it, um, I got trash day coming up this week, and I think uh, I got two haulers in my neighborhood on the same day. Right. Um, so it is, I understand. Yeah, same thing, uh, calls for and against. I think, you know, first we heard about cost savings, but, you know, I think there's people that are willing to pay for quality service as well. So, I, you know, it's important that your trash gets picked up when you expect it to get picked up and timely, and, you know, people will pay for quality too. So. Um, but but I agree. I, you know there are lots of in my development there are you know, lots of lots of haulers uh, at any given day. Right. Um, and it, and I also feel that you know some people want to have their choice. So uh, it's sort of a it's an issue that I think still is going to take a, a little more uh, kind of consideration. I, I, I think so as well, and I think when I talked to residents, what I had said was, look, we're exploring this and we can go through a process doesn't mean that it's, like, we all have to agree on it and whatnot. I think one of the things that I, I like is that it's, it's sort of clean and you get that bulk pickup. You know, that's something that you struggle with. You, you know, you see people leave things out and the trash comes by and then it gets left behind because, oh yeah, you need to call your hauler for that one and there's that, but this is going to include some it, bulk It includes service. bulk pickup and and I'll just interject quickly. This this started because we got a lot of phone calls at Town Hall about getting curbside recycling enhanced recycling. And we got a lot of calls about yard waste. Yes. And, you know, I'm tired of throwing my yard waste bags in my vehicle and hauling them up here to Town Hall to drop them off. You know, and, and our yard waste isn't open in the evenings when people are cutting their grass right. at 7 p.m. So then it's sitting there and, you know, grass ferments and things like that. Right. So it was an opportunity to get those things curbside as well as, I believe, lower the price for a lot of our residents. Um, so that's what started this whole thing going forward and you know I you know we're getting 
ready to resurface the parking lots. It's out for bid. So, you know, yeah, recycle bins are going to be relocated. Okay. Permanently. Permanently. It's a. Uh, it's in, it's in, oh, I'm sorry, Ms. I will tell you just from the start when we started those recycle bins years and years and years ago, we actually got money for them. They came on a regular basis. Um, people who use them pretty much follow the rules. Um, as time's gone on, they've been abused, um, just like they were in the park that that the former board had to remove from the park because people were throwing things in. Um, you know, I believe that paint cans were found. Yeah the other day yesterday it's a lot of work for our um, road crew that should be out on the road when they're sitting we'll there that. cleaning up right. Right. people's messes um, and they're just they're being abused so and we don't we no longer get we no longer get any money for it so I, I would certainly recommend to the trustees that those go away permanently okay um, I, I agree. I mean, it's it's this is tough. I mean, again, it's one of those decisions where you sort of want people to have the freedom of their choice, but you know, we we run the ability to bundle in a lot of services for a very yeah. economical package for the township and, and a lot of pluses. So, um, one of the things, again, I'll reiterate: we the board hasn't made a decision. It's obviously something we're exploring, and per your recommendation, Mr. Rose, that we would wait and see how things play out with Menor and see if we have the option to join their contract. At which point, we would have to make that decision. So, I think it's important that residents continue to express uh, either calling right, town hall or, or reach out to the trustees. Uh, all of us. Um, it would be nice. That's always mm -hmm. one thing. And I, I knew going into this, it, it's it's. You think of all the things you decide, and then all of a sudden you've got this whole crew of people that everybody wants their hauler to be the one that's picked. Yeah. You realize that yeah. uh, I didn't think such a thing of, hey, we're going to add some service or you get a better thing, and then you're going to have so much ups just people not happy about who you pick or who, who gets the competitive bid because uh, it's not the person they've had for 20 years. I realize we're, we're, we're touching that issue, and it's going to be tricky. So uh, with that, um, is there any other thoughts, or are we – no, I would just uh, again reiterate, uh, you know, to urge residents to, re you know, reach out to uh, you know, your trustees, give us a call, give us your opinion, your thoughts. So we have made a decision. We're, we're looking forward to hearing from, you know, more of the township on this issue. Okay. Uh, Ms. I was going to say, I, I also agree that the, the trash or the bins out front really should, should go. Yeah, they've become. I, I, I came up here to put some stuff in at the end of the year and it was. Uh, the things that were in there was, and they, they look bad. They look bad. They look terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep. I'll take care of it. Okay. And with that, we'll move on.